here is actually the best place to see the queen's necklace get all lit up. Nothing like quick lunch. I am salivating. Feeling like a nice day. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm taking you through a day in my life. Now this is not going to be a regular day where I go out and film outside food videos but instead it's going to be a day that I'm taking for myself so it's kind of like my day off but I thought of bringing you guys with me showing you how I relax, rejuvenate, pamper myself a little bit. Last couple of weeks I've actually been shooting content back to back and I thought I needed a day to chill and engage with you guys because it's been a while since I've filmed like an informal vlog sort of video and right now it's about 11.30 in the morning I have woken up really late today and I'm having some Nariyal Pani and it's like that time where I'm really late for breakfast but it's still early for lunch so I thought I'd have a quick brunch I didn't want to spend too much time cooking an elaborate meal today so this is like my quick fix for when I'm hungry and I want something filling and I don't want to eat outside food so let me show you how I put this together like this so here are the veggies that I'm going to be using. I have chopped carrots, I have peas, I have shelled corn and I've also got some chopped French beans. And I've actually also soaked some rice. So this is a really simple, quick vegetable pulao and you honestly don't need something with it. Like you can have it with curry or dal or anything. But even by itself, it tastes amazing. And I usually have this as my quick go-to meal when I'm running late or when I'm feeling lazy to cook. So I'm first adding some ghee. And once this melts, I'm going to be adding bay leaf, a few cloves, a few cumin seeds and then I'm going to be adding all the veggies. And honestly with this, there is no hard and fast rule on what veggies you can put. So I usually just put whatever I have. I think I also have a boiled potato in the fridge which I'll add later. And other veggies which taste good in this are capsicum, um, even tingly tastes good. I don't know, somehow I can't remember what is tindy called in English. So to let the veggies saute a little bit along with the whole spices, it's always a joy seeing so many colours together. I do also add a few other powdered spices. So here is some coriander powder, a little bit of chilli powder, a little bit of turmeric and a tiny bit of garam masala. Mix everything well and keep it on a low flame so that it doesn't get burned. And then I add some rice. Stirring it in nicely so that it gets all of the spices. Then just add water. And let them cook. So when everything cooks together in one go, it's not like you're stirring things in later separately or boiling the veggies separately. And that is why I like this one pot pulao so much because it's got flavor it's got vegetables and it's super easy to make and this will take about 10 minutes to cook now the rice is almost cooked and I also have some boiled potatoes that I need to finish so I'm going to be adding them inside and also a little bit of paneer so now this is like a completely power-packed meal it's got a bit of protein lots of veggies and uh, doesn't it look good? I absolutely love such quick meals. They are an instant pick-me-up, an instant fill-me-up also. I don't know if that's a thing, but we should make that a thing. Tell me some of your quick recipes in the comments below so that all of us can help each other out. We're all really busy and doing a lot at this time. So I think these quick meals will really help all of us. And usually with this on the side, I'll just have a little bit of salad, a little bit of chutney and sometimes a little bit of dahi or raita but even by itself this is amazing if you want to take this pull out to the next level then you can add some caramelized onion on top of it that would be awesome or you can give it like a tarka of maybe a little bit of garlic and ginger that would also be awesome but if you want to keep it simple then this is the way to go i think papad and chutney such a win-win combination There's nothing like having a plate full of food 
and watching your favorite show currently i'm watching another korean drama i still haven't been able to get over them and it's called she was pretty i'm going to leave all of my korean drama recommendations in the description box below so in case you are also into k dramas then you can check those out and you can also let me know which ones are your favorite i did get a few suggestions the last time i asked in a vlog but it's been a while so it's best to be updated and now i'm having this this is a mamra laddu or a kurmura laddu it's made from puffed rice jaggery and i think a little bit of ghee and uh, my mom makes this and she makes it really really well so that is what i'm having to get motivated for the next task which i'm going to be finishing in a jiffy We've still not been calling our house help regularly which is why there's a lot of uh, housework as well that needs to be done especially on days when I'm not shooting I try and get as much cleaning done as possible and now I think I deserve some pampering and to be honest there's nothing that makes me feel more pampered than taking care of my skin and I do follow a very set skincare routine on a daily basis but on days like these I do deserve a little bit extra so when the weather is changing my skin gets uh, slightly patchy slightly dry and i want something that is hydrating and during times like these i love the l'oreal paris crystal sheet mask it's very easy to use just open the packet and place it on the skin it adheres to the face well and i usually leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes while the essence of the mask penetrates deep into the skin it's thin light and breathable so it doesn't feel like a task at all and while this is on i finish any pending work that i might have or today i'm not doing any of that i'm just catching up on some reading once this is off i feel like my skin appears brighter and feels nourished i think my skin gets that instant healthy feeling after i use this which is why i love me a good sheet mask and if you do too then you should try this one out you could get this pack of 5 if you are a regular sheet mask user or you could get this single use pack which is great for trying it out for the first time i'm going to leave links for both of these in the description box below and i know you're going to want to know more about them so definitely check them out and now i think uh, i have done enough time pass I should quickly have my tea and get a little bit outdoors because being indoors today is just getting to me. So let's have some tea and head out. Actually got out of home to come out of the open. <laughs> Wanted to go to hanging garden, but it's shut. So I think I'm gonna head elsewhere now. So I just made a random pit stop at Valkeshwar. Actually, just before Valkeshwar. This is the spot from where you can see Queen's necklace. looking gorgeous in the night honestly it feels great to be out at this time uh, even when i've been shooting for other videos i don't think i've stepped out at this time but it's feeling nice now i think i want to walk a little bit ahead and just be i think touristy that there is chapati and here is actually the best place to see the queen's necklace get all lit up quite a walk and i have to say this exploratory side of mumbai is something that i want to make a full fledged video on so let me know if you want to see a video on like tourist places in mumbai basically me just rediscovering my city let me know in the comments last time i came to chopati i think it was when i did a video on chopati i'm going to leave that in the description box below but it's ages ago i don't know whether it's just me getting out after so many days like like this to do literally lukhagiri which is what i'm enjoying so much or what but uh, it's feeling like a nice day
since i was at chopati i thought it's best to get to new yorkers it's been ages since i visited this place as well and it's completely renovated like completely uh, different than what i remember it and i've ordered the nachos here i remember the nachos here are super popular I really like the once upon a time so for memory's sake i ordered a plate of nachos for myself plate of nachos is here and this is a lot it's quite a bit for me to be eating alone new yorkers is like a legendary mumbai place so whenever you're around your party then try and visit here their food is pretty decent at least that's what i remember it to be and i'm just about to try these nachos and tell you how they are i think this is it for dinner for me this is so much but i am salivating Mm. The cheese sauce is a little bit warm, and um, I've added quite a bit of chili flakes, so it's giving me that hotish aftertaste. The salsa is um, a little bit more sour than I like it, but it's fine. I think for me, New Yorkers is a place which is uh, a trip down memory lane. I remember my junior college days, and um, actually, generally, my college days. This used to be a place um, which was actually a little bit out of budget at that time, and uh, we used to keep it for special occasions and come and indulge in their pizza and nachos and other things. And I think this place has been around since maybe 1980 or more. I don't know, but yeah. Ask any of your folks who've been in Mumbai for a really long time or who used to live in Mumbai. They know New Yorkers. Cleaned out this entire plate, and I have to say. I enjoyed every bit of it. I'm still licking off the cheese and salsa sauce. I was hungry, and they were good. These nachos are expensive. Uh, this cost 390. Tax is over and above that, and the quantity is decent. Like all of them were covered with cheese sauce and everything, but the quantity of salsa was just this much, and any additional salsa is chargeable. I'm finding it hard to let go of like the remaining cheese. That was quite a fun eventful evening and now I'm back home and uh, I'm just quickly going to fix a dinner for my husband. So he is going to be having a little bit of leftover pasta. Actually I made it last night and it was so amazing. This is a pumpkin sauce pasta. When I posted this on Instagram, I got so many DMs asking me for a recipe. So I'm going to be sharing a recipe really soon. Stay tuned for that. Planned days end up being a lot of fun. At least I had a lot of fun today. Uh, I hope you guys also enjoyed this vlog. If you did, then you know what you have to do. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more. And do let me know if you'd like to see more such casual vlogs as well of just me going about my entire day, doing different things, and having different experiences. Let me know in the comments. And that is really it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.